No lie, y'all. First of all, hey, we just spent two hundred and thirty-two dollars on liquor. Why are you telling your people that, though? I think we like the cheese. Babe, what you have? I don't know. <laughs> this, if you, if you have never been into... I give you a oh, That's my husband. Give me a high five on that husband. If you never been to Total Wines, you need to go. This was husband's first time. This was my second time going. But they have every alcohol you can think of, they have it. Like from the high they end, right, but they ain't nothing like Spicks. Well, Spicks ain't got no three thousand dollar bottles in there. Oh, but oh, I done closed my hair. Okay, but yeah, um, where's we going? Pet Smart. We can go over there, uh, by Fair Fairmont Parkway because by then it's gonna be time to pick up Adrian. Um, but every wine, every type of liquor you can think of, this place has it. It has everything from your high end to your low end, from your three thousand dollar bottles to your five ninety nine bottles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now we did see some do say, but we say that right there is for our ten year anniversary. You you don't just go buy a do say just to buy it unless you just got it like that. We ain't got it like that. You think that was a cheap bottle? It was a nice size, huh? So. So now, Audrey is getting her hair done. We dropped her off to get her hair done. We dropped my car off to get some repairs done. So now we're on our way to PetSmart and then gonna go pick her up because her hair should be ready by the end. So yeah, y'all. But I'll show you all everything we got once we get home. Cause I think we did pretty good for the money we spent. And I know some of y'all like, how can you buy liquor? And we're in a pandemic. I need to be drunk during this pandemic, okay? I need to, and I can't be running to the bar every weekend trying to go get a drink. Now I got a drink in my house. So we gotta stop by Family Dollar on our way home because I need to get like a stand to sit it on. Because I could just sit it on the bar, but I have careless children that with no hesitation will knock that off. And somebody gonna have to die. Period. So yeah, we're on our way. I, th I thought it was a pet smart over here, but I don't think it is. Not that I know of, anyway. I can't recall. Do y'all ever notice that if somebody cheating, that's what they say? I can't recall. Where you was at on stuff to stuff, I can't recall. Who you had in your car and such and such, I can't recall. If a nigga ever tell you he he okay. I ain't gonna say that, I'm gonna just say nobody. Really? Really? Yeah, 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 jackass. You know what I mean? I can't recall. Nobody. I cannot recall. Nobody. Who is it? Nobody. But let a little woman say that. You tell me. Oh, oh, that'll get you beat up. That'll get you beat up. <laughs> you said with somebody. That'll get you beat up. <laughs> On sight. But if you telling me somebody was in my car. I'm knocking out heads. And I'm telling you, I don't know what you talking about. So the only thing I can say now is, well, if you know who was in, if somebody was in my car, you tell me who it was, how they look. See, because I don't know what you're talking about. They wasn't in there with me. I don't know what. But see, if a female do that, a dude would be ready to act a damn fool. <laughs> you tell me who was in my car. <laughs> I'm being honest, I could never, I could never say, if he asked me, who you had in your car? What, what nigga you had in your car on such and such day? And I hit you with, I can't recall. Oh, you don't know who you had in your car? Oh, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna tell you that nigga had on that pink shirt with that such and such and such and yeah, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna describe that nigga to you. I'm, I'm gonna bring him back to your memory. I ain't gonna fuck with you about it. If I can't get you solid evidence, I ain't going for. I seen you pass by. I thought it was a nigga in the know. I'm gonna tell you how that nigga looked. He had a low haircut. Had a couple of waves in the shit. He was alright, dude. But uh, who the fuck is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, I, I, I tried to high speed chase you that time? No. Yeah, you remember. 
I was on that ass. <laughs> I was on, I was, who is that in that car? Huh? Nigga, I'm behind you. I see you. Just don't play with me. Shoot. <laughs> I will pull Nobody up. If I pull up and dragging everybody Nobody. out the car. Yeah, it used to get so called. I used to pull up where he be. You ain't home at 10 o'clock at night? You probably like, 10 o'clock? That man got a curfew? Yeah, we 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 got a curfew. We do. And it works for my family and it cuts down on the chaos and the arguing and the BS. We got a curfew. Now what you do in your house is your business. What we do in ours is we'll keep our marriage going. Oh, uh, go to Fairmont because there should be a pet smart over there. Go to Fairmont. Oh, you know, go to Almeida. It's a pet smart right there. Ain't no sense of driving all the way there. Why go to Almeida first and I can go pick Arthur and then go to pet smart on the way home? Well, yeah, you can do that too. But I used to pull up where he be at. If he went home at 10 o'clock, I knew where he was. I'm going to pull up. Hey, it's time to go. Let's go. It's time to go home. I'm coming to, it's like a mother coming to get a child from being out all night. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You know, we have our little times where we be out a little late sometimes, but we let each other know. Like, I had a girl's, um, my cousin had a birthday party and it was an all girls party. You keep saying that. You keep saying that. I just had to hit you with it because you know. Yeah, you think that's funny. <laughs> but she had a party and it was an all girls party. And I knew that the party didn't start at 8. So it went on since I went there early to just help set up and stuff. But it really wasn't no point of me leaving like at 10 o'clock. Because I'm glad I didn't because a lot of people didn't get there till like 9. But I left at 12. I had, matter of fact, I even had him drop me off. Drop me off, pick me up. Cause first of all, I'm drinking and I'm not, if I drink and I get drunk drunk, I don't have no way to get home. So you need to come be able to come get me. So he dropped me off and picked me up and I was home, he picked me up at 12. Or if he, which he really don't have no guys nice out. But if he had, if he, if he, when he did have one, it'd be like, he'd probably stay out until 12, one o'clock in the morning. And then he was back home. But that's so real. That's another thing, ladies. When y'all men switch up, watch him. Cause see, if he was coming in, if he started coming in at one o'clock in the morning, every time, then we got a problem. Cause now you just switched up. Can't be switching up. Make sure I don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. Where they come from, y'all? They come from a song. All right, y'all, let us go get our child. And then I gotta go to PetSmart because I have to return Tokyo's, um, Halloween costume. Yes. Yes, that's, that's what we going for. Wow. His Halloween costume is right there by purse. Wow. We gotta go exchange his Halloween costume. And then I need to go to like either a Walmart or something, but I need to find a stand for us to put this look on. It's a lot of people. And I'm trying to build our little bar situation. want to show y'all what hubby did hubby put this whole entertainment center up by himself don't mind the water we stay ready so we ain't gotta get ready but hubby put this whole thing up by himself i am so happy i am content don't don't look at that fish tank because we gonna put this fish tank together real soon i said that like what didn't I say that but I know I could not interfere because you are the type that when you doing something you don't want nobody to help you you don't want nobody to say nothing to you don't direct you don't nothing just sit back and shut up and watch you do it so that is what I did I could even help hold the shelf y'all but it's finished so now we're gonna set it up and make it all pretty Yo, I'm gonna put some, I had a table here. A lot of you guys, if y'all watched my channel from way back, y'all know I had a table here. But I think I'm going to put bar stools where my bar is. Don't 
don't mind my bar it needs to be cleaned off but i'm gonna put bar stools right there instead because i don't think i want to do a table and i could have put my water in the garage but i just feel like i don't want no hot hot super hot water i feel like it'll go bad if it's in that heat like that so that's why we got all these things of water stacked up plus we thought it was gonna storm so that's another reason we got all these things of water because we thought it was going to storm real bad and we wanted to be prepared and no this is just this is not a oh they went and bought 25 cases at one time even if we did that's our business our money but a lot of this water is where we go when we go to the store we get four or five cases anyway or we get six cases anyway that's on a normal even when it ain't no storm we get that many cases so it's just a stock up So now, babe, setting up our little area where we're going to keep our stuff. I'll show you y'all once it's finished. Goodbye. Okay, guys. So to start off, we have the Watermelon Amsterdam. Hubby drinks that Jake down your own. Mess with that Jake. That Jake make you make it get wet. Hennessy. Grand Moyer. I use those two to make French connections. Cavassier. Crown Regal Apple, which is Crown Royal. Um, down here is Babe's favorite, this 20 grand. And then we have this Ciroc Red Berry. And then this Strawberry Lemonade right here. That's me and Cousin's fave. So, yeah. Just starting it off, getting it started. This will be filled up pretty soon. But we just decided instead of going to pay for drinks, we can make our own drinks. Like, why we still be paying for drinks? I don't know. We can make our own drinks. And I think I'm going to find this. I think they got this book out that teach you how to mix drinks and stuff at home and make them really good. So, I'm going to invest in that book too. But yeah, that's what we're working with. Okay, y'all, so I made it to work. I am at work doing my job. <sighs> y'all, the energy that I had this morning when I pulled up to this job, I didn't have that same energy, child.